Got the new Drifter Stockton 5 pit. Arrived about two days ago, three days. Actually, it might have been three days ago, late in the afternoon. And I'm just about to do my first cook-up. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got my old trusty Oz pit out. And I've got a pork roast on. So I'm going to cook up a pork roast on it today. So I'm using the Drifter Stockton charcoal starter. So let's get into it, shall we? So just a few, few fire lighters. Break them up. I like to use about four, four or five of these pieces. Seem to be enough. So what we're doing, as you can see, I, I don't, I don't have the the proper charcoal grate for this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one up next week when I'm passing through the Driftdale Brandale store and definitely definitely suggest one of those but what i'm using now is i'm using the there we go how easy is that right, turn this around i should go grab my gloves later so what i'm using i'm actually using the um the grill off my uniflame fire pit the idea of using the grill so that you don't have to use as much um the charcoal so i'm using gigi charcoal here so if you didn't have that grill, you can imagine you'll have to fill, fill that up right up at the base, right up to about halfway up the top, at least maybe more. And that, that's going to use up too much of your charcoal. And you don't need that many charcoal. So, because these Gigi charcoal, they put out a really good heat. Meet a Bluetooth app here. So I'm going to use it to monitor the temperature of me pork roast. So I picked up that pork roast uh, from the local Coles this morning and I'm actually sitting under the Drifter Stockton hexatarp as well. It's uh, really hot, really hot, too hot out in the sun so I thought oh well, we'll put this tarp up and we'll cook under the tarp today. And it's starting to put the heat out there now, I might, might have to move back a bit here. So I'm picking, I'm picking up the fire pits around, you know, the one that I did a review on uh, just over a week ago. So I'm actually picking one of them up next week, so I'm going to have one of those as well. So it's exciting. And there's a few other uh, Drifter Stockton products I'm going to pick up as well when I pass through the store. How shiny are these things when they're brand new, eh? Drifter Stockton do have a stainless steel charcoal grill that you can put in these but they don't come standard as with the charcoal starter there it's not a standard feature so so my advice is to grab both so if you're wondering where the stores are uh, as of this stage you can pick them up where well, you can get them on mail order of course uh, it, but there's a store at the Drifter Brandale store but that's going to be which is in Brisbane but that's going to be relocated to Slacks Creek I believe out along Moss Street there in the next two or three weeks as I'm filming this. Uh, there's a huge Drifter Stockton warehouse store at Gosford in New South Wales and there's one as well at, there's a Drifter store as well at Gloucester where the Drifter company is based, where the factory is, it's, is based at Gloucester in New South Wales. And I know of another store somewhere in the New South Wales Central Coast I believe that's going to be opening soon as well so what's that three four stores so three stores at the moment it's going to be a fourth store soon and on top of that they're also available on mail order there are plenty of stock of these currently in australia as of the filming of this if you go to any one of those stores or purchase online uh, they'll be posted within a day or two and however long it takes Australia Post to get it to you, you'll, you'll receive that. I've had quite a few people ask me in the last video on the difference between this and the Darchi. So I thought I had that covered in the last video, the, the preview video. So obviously the main, the main difference is that Drifter Stockton has redesigned the plate, the, um, this is plate on the base plate on the bottom here. From what I can see, it's a much better quality I've had a look at the photos. I've, I have seen the Darchies up close, but I never ever took much notice of them. I kind of walked past them and thought, oh yeah, they look all right, and then kept going. 
but they don't come with the the stand and their base plate as well I, I'm not too sure it might be a thinner base material because they've got like a, a, a reinforced rims still around the outside so why is that there I mean <laughs> they must be there to reinforce the, the weight so 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 they forsake a bit of weight on this for quality and of course very important particularly if you want to use the fire pits around they've got the the base itself whereas the Dachi one does not come with the base itself so this is just about yeah that's just about ready now that's some crazy heat there this grate that I'm using is a little bit high for me liking so yeah getting back to the uh, quality um, this is still great that I've got for the uni flame actually it seems to be working pretty good although it's a bit high it's a bit exposed to the to the uh, the wind so I definitely will be picking up the proper charcoal grate for this one it's a stainless steel one and I'll show you that probably in the next video that we film that uh, Bluetooth temperature records internal and external temperature as well so it's a good indication of the ambient temperature that it's cooking as well and not just that it operates by Bluetooth so it connects to your phone and then through with your phone you can monitor the internal temperature and as soon as it gets to the your your temperature that you like it at the perfect temp for you you just take it off let it rest and that's it as easy as that now this is a first generation one so the only problem with this the first generation and by the way it's called a meter m-e-a-t-e-r meter the only problem with the first generation the bluetooth has got a very limited range it's only good for about three meters but you can actually piggyback it off another device so I've got another device I've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 and I can put that right here and then I can piggyback off that and as long as that tablet is connected to some sort of network uh, whether it's Wi-Fi to your, to your broadband internet or whatever internet you got at home or it's got your 4G or 3G coverage through my phone anywhere in the world as long as I've got mobile phone coverage I can connect to that app and monitor it Welcome back guys. Alright, so this has been cooking for about two and a half hours now. I ran out of Gigi charcoal, okay? I thought I had another bag, bag, but um, oh, getting smoked. Hang on, just move the camera a bit so I don't get eye smoked out. So this is nearly ready now. We're not too far off. What I might do is drop this down a bit more just to get a bit more of the uh, crackle going. So unfortunately, remember I was talking about my Bluetooth thermometer, it's not working anymore, I think the battery's died on it. So, so what I've got, though, I've got another thermometer here that I picked up at Barbecues Galore once. So we're going to, now, we'll just check what the temperature is internally. All right, so that's about 61. That's going to need a bit more. 
62 over there. Okay, she's not quite ready yet. With these, you can drop them down by if you squeeze that little lever there. So you can adjust the height on these. So I don't know if you can hear that crackling away. All right, that's got to get a bit of air in, break that up a bit. It's got that fire going a bit more. She's taking a bit longer. You can see how windy it is. It's really blowing the gale at the moment. It's taking a little bit longer to cook than uh, what it normally will. But that's okay, because when it comes to pork roast, um, having it take this is a bit longer to cook is a benefit I think a slow cook there's nothing wrong with the slow cook as long as you start early enough in the day so I don't mind that I still though I like to get it cooked before it's dark got a nice bit of gidgy charcoal right here and the last bit of gidgy charcoal I want to save get that right up at this end here to get a little bit more temperature in right up this end here where it's really thick there we go and you can really hear that crackle is starting to form now so she's really cooking now she's sizzling away very well as you can see now I, I normally use Gidji charcoal when I cook on the roast uh, but you can certainly use timber it's just that with timber you've got to keep more an eye on it Gidji charcoal you can actually get all you can actually particularly if you got one of those Bluetooth thermometers that, that connects to your phone you can just leave it be and every so often after about an hour maybe whack in a bit bit more bit of Gidji charcoal in extra Gidji charcoal in and that should keep you going till the the end of the cook and because it's an even heat, it's easy to monitor. So now you can see, I probably need to lift that up now. Just bring that, oh no, I think that's all right. Because of the wind that's blown so strong, that's not burning so much. I don't want it to go too much charcoal. See, we've just got a little bit there now. So, I don't want to go black too much but we really need to get some heat up this end here to really get that cook cooking so what we might do put this piece along here see if we can get some more heat up this end here well that's working that's getting a kit and a lot of flame on this side here that's the beauty with this fire pit, so much bigger. I didn't have that convenience with the small uni flame fire pit that I had. So we'll get the thermometer out shortly and check the temperature. So starting to get a little bit of coals built up there now. So what I'll do is I'll let that cool down later and I'll just tip that out into the bin once it's cooled down you could give it a quick hose down and leave it in the sun to dry just make sure it's fully dry before you pack it away although it is stainless steel yeah but straight away I can see the huge advantage with this over the smaller fire pits that I quite often use because I notice it gets a lot even temperature because it's bigger it's longer 
it gets the temperature right out to the end here whereas when I was using the uni flame quite often you'd have to get like a piece of gigi charcoal or something and just hold it like that the last bit just to cook the bits on the end well, I can see that this is certainly well and truly cooked here yeah? I still do the same on this end here because it's so thick I tried to find a piece that's uniform all the way around this didn't look too bad but when I took it out the packet well I've actually got a bit of Gigi charcoal here and if I grab this and you can hold that there it's a good way to finish it off obviously you need to stop it from okay because I mean Gigi charcoal is is clean so you're not going to if you hold that there I don't know if you can hear that it's a good way it's something that I've I've done to get the if you've got one section that's not so you get a bit of this Gigi charcoal because Gigi charcoal is so hot you can see how that's already started forming the crackle really nice now you could move this off the heat okay do you hear that you can move this off the heat so it stops turning all right see i think that's so you can see that didn't take long and that's something that I've done in the past I could go a little bit more I think that's fine it's good now so let's check the temperature of that now all right so that's approaching 66 so what I really need to do is to concentrate more the the heat on this side here that's a lot thicker let's see if we can if we can do that now so to do to do that if we would just pile up all these coals right up this side like so I'm used to doing this this is what I used to do with the with the smaller uni flame fire pit to get the heat evenly now I've got a little bit of some Gigi charcoal just left here I really like to try to get some of that in there it's amazing how long this Gigi charcoal lasts it's unfortunately I didn't have enough of it the rice is not going to look too much different to what you see here once it's finished cooking it's very close now so what we might do is I'll finish cooking this off and then we'll bring the camera inside when I carve it up and show you the result and hopefully it turned out real good all cooked <laughs> so that took about three and a half oh I'll be it's been resting for about 10 minutes so it took about three hours and 20 minutes let's have a look at this uh, hopefully you can see there And if you could smell this, this is so nice. Look at that, it's quite nice. Mmm, that's good. So, what do you reckon? I think it's turned out pretty good myself. So, it's the first time I've cooked on the on the Drifter Stockton fire pit and I'm very happy with it so initially I can see the advantage as I was cooking there as you notice look at that meat it's just falling right off oh we've got to check out this crackle soon eh <laughs> I can hear a little bit of crackle there let's just get this off the 
crackle and see how well it, it crackle. Look at that. I don't know about you guys, but I reckon that's perfection. Let's have a look at this crackle, shall we? Look at that. Eh? 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 Whoa! Can anyone hear that? I reckon we got a bit of crackle here. Uh, me and me mum's gonna enjoy this tonight. What do you call it, mum? Mum? Mm -hmm. What do you call this? Crack. Crack. My mum calls it crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to try a piece here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's perfect. So, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> oh, anyway, let's go grab another piece. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the crackle. Mmm. Thumbs up. Excellent. Beautiful. So, I, was, <laughs> I want to dig into this now. So we're going to call this video quits. <laughs> so thanks for watching, particularly those who watch right through the end. Really appreciate if you could subscribe. And that'd be awesome. And make sure you click on the little ding, the bell icon. What that, that does is it, it actually lets you know when I put a new video up. So make sure you click on that. So next week I'm going to go down to the drifter, one of the drifter stores and I'm going to pick up some more drifter gear and some more drifter Stockton gear. So I'm going to have more wonderful gear to show you. That's just, it's just been made now. So it's just come into the country. So once again, I can't help but stare at this. I've got all this foodie and it's ready to cook. It's ready to eat right now. So for those who watched the ride through the end, thank you very much. And check out these Drifter Stockton fire pits. And also the ice pit. The ice pit, again, it's also available from a Drifter. You can purchase that from Drifter. So ice pit's another Australian Aussie company. So you saw that little thing just runs on two little D-sized batteries and what it does it just consistently turns and you've got lots of adjustments and there's a lot of optional upgrades you can get with those as well. So go to their website and check out and see what they offer. But till next time, I'm going to turn this camera off and me and my mum are going to dig into this pork roast here. So till next time, cheers.